Shalom. I'm start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who have taught us this word in truth and sincerity and who woo well. All right, salutations to the hopeful elect, the sincere brothers pushing this word across the four corners of the earth and peace and mercy to the sincere aqua that may listen. Quick lesson, um, it's been on my spirit for a bit. So, you know, I just decided to do a video on it. And what that is, is um, the fact that people actually still, you still here, we are in 2022, you know, and you got Jake waking up, you know, you got, you bring a time where Jake knows he's an Israelite. A lot of, a lot of Jakes know that they're Israelites, all right? So-called Negroes, Latinos, and North American Indians. They know that they're Israelites, but um, you still, and then and then you have the prophets of the Lord, right? But these these uh, Israelites, okay, you still got Israelites who believe, okay, that the Most High is is loves everybody. Like, how are you gonna wake up to the fact that you're an Israelite and still think that an Edomite can get saved? That's, that's, that, that, that makes no sense. It makes no sense whatsoever. Right? So, uh, I got three quick precepts showing and proving that the Most High is only dealing with Israel and, and always was only dealing with Israel and always will only be dealing with Israel. Okay? So, this is uh first precept here is uh, Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 4. And five. Okay, Deuteronomy four and five. It says, "Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments." Right? They use, you know, you Negroes, Latinos, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and North American Indians. Okay, Israelites. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord Yahweh, my power. Commanded, commanded me that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. And this is uh, Moses speaking to Israel. So, you know, the Most High is always going to be speaking through his prophets, men, his men, his, his choice elect men, because you have an elect within the elect. Okay, just like you have the is you have Israel and you have the Israel of God. Right? The Israel of the Most High, which is the elect, the 144,000. All right? And the innumerable um, multitude. But mainly speaking about the prophets. Right? So we're in times now where you have prophets all over the world. You know, you got more than 100 videos being posted up a day, easily. And you're still going to be, and you're going to wake up to the fact that you're an Israelite, and you're going to still think the Most High is dealing with everybody. That makes no sense. You're bugging, you're bugging out, you know? So, okay, so verse 6, it says, Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. So, you know, Israel, the Most High, gave Israel statutes and judgments. Let's look, let's see what you know what, what what comes up when we look up those two words because those are important words. That's what separates us, okay, outside of other things, you know, many other things. But as far as um, our connection through uh, to the Most High, you know, ultimately now is through Yahweh Shai. But for those of us that are in the truth and you know are sincerely doing this work, and to everybody else, anybody else out there that knows he, that they're an Israelite, man or woman, you know, because we're under the grace doesn't mean we just do away with the law because the law, the judgments, okay, the commandments that Yahweh Bashim Yahshai delivered to us are important, okay? They're very important. And as as I'm reading to you here, that these are what made us separate. This is what separated us from the other nations because it, it gave us wisdom and understanding, Right? So, we're looking up statutes, okay, 
Koik. I'm mispronouncing that, but um, the definition here, you got statue, ordinance, limit. That's the good one because in the beginning of time, we had you had three factions of men, right? In the time of Adam, in Genesis, you had the, the sons of Yahweh, the sons of man, and the sons of uh, sons of the wicked, sons of uh, Satan, sons of the devil. So, the sons of Satan, we already know that's uh, Esau, Esau Edom. He's a physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan. The sons of man are the other nations. Okay, both those both those factions have no limits within themselves. So that's why they're liking onto beast. One is worse than a beast, which is Esau. He's liking onto to worse than a beast. <laughs> you know, Esau is worse than a beast. Okay? A beast is just a beast. And then you got the men of the Lord who understand judgment, who understand right from wrong, who understand fear, you know? And that's where the power and their strength come from. And understanding and slake, um, I say their power and their strength. You know, our power and strength come from Yahweh Bashim El Shai. But what I meant to say is that, um, and that's and that's and that's what sets us above these two other factions of people. Okay, the sons of men, right? The other nations and the sons of the wicked, all right? Sons of uh, Satan, which is Esau, Edom. What puts us above those two factions of people is our. Is our order that is that the fact that the Most High gave us judgments? He gave us laws, things, things that we can discern by, right? These other nations don't have that. Esau, the third faction of man, of of man, he has wickedness to to discern judgment. He he does he perverse. That's really perversion, literal perversion. That's what he is. All right. The other nations don't have the laws to do to know uh, right from wrong. And Esau just perverts the laws <laughs> to do wrong. <laughs> Anyways, so we got statute, ordinance, limits, something prescribed, okay? S prescribed limit, boundaries, decree, ordinance, right? So, you know, we get the point. So Deuteronomy 4 and... Um, oh, yeah, we're going to look up the other word, uh, judgment, just quickly to see what it gives us for judgment. Judgment, ordinance, act of deciding a case. That's right, because you know what? We're we're why the most? What's the purpose of the of of the Most High, to, uh, giving only Israel those statute laws and commandments? The purpose is is that we're going to judge the world, man. We're going to judge the earth and everything everything that comes with it. Under Yahweh Shai, King David, on down to the elect and the rest of the the, the nation of Israel. We're going to be the new standard of how to live according to perfection and righteous, righteousness of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Right? So we're, we're, we have to know, we have to, we have to know, we have to, those judgments, okay, which are really the law, right? The what to do and what not to do. That's to set us up, man. And the first fruits set us up to be uh, perfect judges. The first fruits being uh, the prophets, Right? So you, it has act of deciding a case, place, court, seat of judgment. There you go. Right? So we get the point. So uh, Deuteronomy 4 and 5, Behold, I have taught you, or no, 4 and 6. So like, therefore, do them, Deuteronomy 4 and 6, Therefore, do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. So he didn't do this with any other nation, man, just Israel which shall hear all these statues and say, surely this is a great nation. It, it's like, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. <laughs> so that's how it's supposed to be. That's the most high having a favorite, favorite people, a favorite nation. So he doesn't love everybody, man. There's levels to this. <laughs> There's levels to this. Verse 7, for what nation is there so great who hath Yahweh so nigh unto them? Let me read that again, Deuteronomy 4 and 7. For what nation is there so great 
who hath Yahweh so nigh unto them. There's no other nation that the Most High is so close to. That's what the other nations are saying, man. They're like, yo, yo, the other nations look at us. All right, when 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 we were keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, they were looking at us like, damn, yo, these guys, man, they just they just know how to do it. Like they have it, they have it, man, they have it. Whatever it is, they have it. You know, we want that too, man. Like, how do we do that? How do we how do we come like that? Right? They they look up to us, man, because we're supposed to be that perfect righteous example. All right, begin with Yahweh Shai on down. Right, right now though, we're in the time where the Most High right now is only dealing with the elect. Okay, because two thirds has to has to has to come has to make it. They're gonna they can't make it. They won't make it. They'll come back in the kingdom. But the prophets right now, the elect. Okay, the hopeful elect. Right now, this is this is it's starting with them. Okay, it's starting. This is starting with them. For what nation is there so great who hath Yahweh so nigh unto them? As the Lord Yahweh, our power is in all things that we call upon him for, right? And what nation is there so great that hath statutes and, and judgments so righteous as all this law? It's right, because it's coming from the Heavenly Father, man. It's coming from Yahweh Bashim Nashai, the creator, all right? The perfect, the perfect being through his perfect and only beloved son, Right? through sacrifice is 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 coming from a pure lineage man that's why <laughs> that's why okay and you and the most high has a direct and that's going that's a direct um uh cord to israelites not everybody in the world israelites okay a direct channel for one nation is there so great who hath Yahweh so nigh unto them, and as the Lord our power is in all things that we call upon him for. And what nation is there so great that hath statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law which is set before you this day? Right? So, you know, that's pretty straightforward, man. That's pretty straightforward. Let me continue. It says, only take heed to thyself and keep thyself keep thy soul diligent this is a message to the hopeful elect man okay only take heed to thyself okay and keep thy soul diligent this is the times we're coming into man really understand like this is this is it man we're things are about to get turned up all right things are about to get turned up so our relationships, our relationships, okay, our individual relationships with the Yahweh Shimon Mashai has to tighten up because things are going to turn up. Because the heat is going to turn up, we got to tighten up, you know? We got to really push.